Here our next, uh, what she has to say, our next guest has to say about vacation travel. Duquesne marketing professor, Dr. Audrey Guskey, here to talk with us about vacations and summer spending. Don't know why anybody want to leave Pittsburgh area this, well, this time of year. Well, you're right, great. Kate, the weather's absolutely fabulous, and there is a lot of things to There's do. A lot of stuff so. going on. So uh, you hear it every year. They, people grapple with where they want to go for vacations. So where are folks headed this year? Well, typically, as people would expect, you take the kids, you pile into the car, and you drive. Right. And the average vacation is about 800 miles, and they're spending about $1,000. So it's your traditional get in the car and drive somewhere within a few hours. Um, people are still doing air travel, especially with a lot of the low carriers that we have in the Pittsburgh area so sure. we've expanded a little bit there but typically it's the beach type of a scene that Pittsburghers like to so, have. So mm -hmm. the beach and how much are they, you said a thousand bucks it thousand. doesn't seem like you can go to the beach for a thousand bucks these days. Well it doesn't seem like it's that much but you know you figure um, that's just counting the transportation and, and not counting all the meals and things like that so it's still uh, it's still quite a bargain for let's, people. Let's talk about the 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 gas prices and, and the travel is this keeping folks closer to home now? Well you would think that it would be and people are complaining about the high mm -hmm. gas prices but overall it hasn't deterred any travel. People say they're still going to do the same things. They may not go to the most expensive restaurants. They may not buy a lot of souvenirs for their friends, right. but they're still going to travel. Because if you look at, once again, the average um, traveling, which is 800 miles, you're only spending an extra $40 this year compared to last year, since dollar the gas price is probably a little bit more than a dollar. So overall, it's not that much more. Every year, it seems like we're saying this, AAA comes out with new numbers. This mm -hmm. is going to be the busiest travel year, if, if it's a vacation, if it's a particular holiday. Right. And again, are they saying this is going to be Absolutely. the busiest vacation year of the summer? Yeah, they claim that travel is going to increase by about 2%, and it has been over the past couple of years. And so okay. we're going to be traveling more so than we have and spending more in gas. Um, if you can believe it, we travel about 800 billion miles wow. from Memorial Day to Labor Day. <laughs> and so it's the most gas usage that we have throughout the year. And people are going to continue to vacation because they like to get away. Um, but what I find very, very interesting is if you look at the amount of days that we have, you only have 14 days for the average American compared to Europe. And you've got 24 days in um, Great Britain. You've got 26 days in Ireland, and you've got about 36 days in Germany. So, I mean, that's incredible. And Americans aren't taking advantage of all their vacation days. On average, three days a year, Americans are giving back. So that's about 60 billion dollars that we're not spending. And even when we're on vacation, we have the cell phones and the laptops, and we just can't get away. People are still stressed. One third of people polled say that even when they're on vacation, right. they're still work stressed. So I think people need to get away and literally get away. Because they're literally thinking of work while they're on vacation. We just Absolutely. actually had a study. We did a report on a study here that a, th a third of people that go on vacation are still talking about work, still thinking about it, still working. And IT guys right. are the ones who are, I guess, uh, indulging this the most. Absolutely. And one of the things we're finding that's really fun is people's vacations now are becoming entertainment right. as well as educational. Um, you and I were talking before we got on air, and um, I was telling you we took a group of Duquesne students, 23 students, to Europe for a study abroad trip. They got credit for it. We visited factories. We went to Intel. We went to, of course, Guinness. We went to Alcoa. Um, it was Ireland and hungry and basically the students were able to explore the economy and that's a neat way for families to maybe take advantage of something like that where you can then take your loved ones right. someplace where they can learn historically whether it's you know Jamestown or or Williamsburg or, or something like that seems like every kid has a story about going to DC or Williamsburg or something like that when they're uh, exactly kids. correct right. yeah Dr. Guskey thanks very much and well, as good. always great uh, great information for us uh, she's the marketing professor at Duquesne University you can look for Audrey segments every Tuesday of the month right here on Pittsburgh Today Live. All right, still ahead here.